For those of you that don't have specialist tools um, like speech analytics, um, I would say the most representative sample or, or the ideal sample size um, for measuring quality assurance probably starts with either five or six assessments. Um, and I think five or six is probably the optimum number um, for a number of different reasons that I'm, I'm more than happy to, to share. And I think when you, you think about the, the score that a lot of people aim for with quality. Sometimes it starts around 80%. Um, and generally, if you've got less than five, um, it might start to become a little bit more problematic for agents to actually achieve that score, which is why I say as a minimum five, ideal, probably six. We've talked about the sample size being five or six. So why would it be... I suppose, negative or have a, a potentially negative consequence if you just go higher or lower. Um, so if we go too low, that obviously means that we're not really sampling enough of the pot to give a representative um, sample of how that agent's um, QA scorecard is or how the, the performance of that individual is. And that can have two impacts, I suppose. One, you're not sampling enough of the the good stuff. So you're not able to give um, some of that really um, fair and, and, and accurate um, rationale as to, to how they're performing. At the same time, if we are going too high, um, it really takes a, a toll on the resource that you need to actually do that. If, you're, if, you're, if your calls are typically what we might see in the contact center, maybe anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes long sometimes, if you're then doing more than five or more than six, um, and in some cases, I've seen people doing it up to 20 um, audits on, on an agent. It really requires a significant volume of, of resource. And it's not necessarily going to give you any additional insights um, doing that volume of um, volume of audits. So that's where I suppose you, you've got to get that balance in terms of the, the appetite for risk um, and the appetite for investment on resource. 